Mr. Bobbin was trying to tidy up his new garden. It was hot work. Once he bought old Mr. Bobbin using old-fashioned shears like those, said Harry. Yes, said Gary. You don't think a man like that would have one of our super-duper double deluxe motor mowers? But I'll knock down giveaway price for one week only, said Harry. Particularly, said Gary, as it so happens we've got one in the van. Uh, well, said Mr. Bobbin, I'm a bit tempted. I suppose it can't do any harm just to look at it. This grass is terribly long. Could you show me it working on very long grass? Ow, said Harry. Ow, 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 clumsy elf. That hurt my big toe. I should have kept it out of the way, said Gary. Get the mower out, and this time be careful. Come on, come on, come on. Steady, steady. Ow! said Mr. Dabble again. Ow, ow! That's the other toe, he said. Y'all did that on purpose, didn't you? Y'all walking disaster, he said. Here's the grass box. I, I hope you haven't hurt yourself, said Mr. Bobbin. No bones broken. Just a few bruises, I expect, said Mr. Dabble. Let me help you up, said Mr. Bobbin. Thank you, said Harry. Now, about the mower. I don't think much of your mower, said Mr. Bobbin. Look at all this bare earth. It's worse than the long grass. What are you going to do about it? Uh, well, said Gary sheepishly. Look, you can put it back again if you like. Just, just sort of pat it down. Good as new, he said. That's no use, said Mr. Bobbin. You've made a mess of my nice garden, and I want it put right. Hey, come back, Mr. Dabble. Oh. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Sponge, said Mr. Bobbin. That's much better. It's still very long, though, he thought sadly. Oh, well, I'd better carry on with my old-fashioned clippers. Thank you very much, Sponge, said Mr. Bobbin. The Dabbles were confused. <laughs>